Do you know, one of the really, really great challenges of our time is to make sure that we bridge the gap between those of different religions, different cultures, different creeds and different colors. And above all, given the world we're in now, to ensure that our Muslim brothers and friends recognize that they are part of the civilized society of which we belong, not to exclude them and not to allow them to go off into the territory of extremism. And we can do that. We can do that. The great poem, which has been a creed for me, written by a Bengali, Rabindranath Tagore, should be a motto for our days. It goes like this. We are all the more one because we are many. For we have left an ample space for love in the gap where we were sundered. Our unlikeness shines with the radiance of a common creation like mountain peaks in the morning sun. For me, as a politician, as somebody who believes in the Almighty, whatever Almighty you happen to want to believe in, and for somebody who is a human being, that central creed, that is, uh, that our humanity is illuminated by our differences, not our sameness, is the great heart of the liberal creed. When I fought against the appalling genocide in Bosnia, conducted by the Serbs against the Muslim community, it was because I was a liberal. And it was because I believed that. And it was because I was a liberal democrat. When I gave evidence against Milosevic for the crimes of Srebrenica at the Hague Tribunal, I did that because I was a liberal. Because I was a liberal democrat and because I believed that. So if you support the Liberal Democrats, you're supporting the one party which is utterly com committed in its soul and in the marrow of its bones to the diverse society which you believe in and which can be the only basis for a civilized society in Britain.